The Mishnah tells us there's a special blessing that we should make when we witness a miracle or experience a miracle. Blessed are God, King of the Universe, Shasali Nes the Makom Hazer, that you did a miracle for me in this place. Now, I recently witnessed what I consider to be a miracle, and what I think you'll probably agree with me is a miracle. Very recently, my son Arya just graduated his basic training in the paratrooper unit of the Israeli army, the IDF, Israel Defense Forces. And uh, I watched it online. My wife was there in Israel to see it and full of pride. He's my third son to complete, uh, to do his army service in the state of Israel. I was in the army in the state of Israel. But one thing is incredible. When you see this group of young Jewish men graduating the paratrooper course in the state of Israel, what I think is that you're actually seeing a miracle. Oh yeah, there's been Jews in the military. Sir John Monash, who was the commander in chief of the Australian and New Zealand armed forces during the First World War, Jewish. Admiral Rickover, famous admiral in the United States Navy. Uh, Chaim Solomon, a uh, Jew who was instrumental in the Revolutionary Army in the uh, uh, in the uh, Revolutionary War of the United States. There were half a million Jews in the United States Army in the Second World War. And there have been Jews throughout history involved in military uh, actions of various countries. You can go back to the 10th century. We have Reb Shmuel Hanagid, who was the uh, Jewish commander of the Muslim armies in southern Spain. Uh, something amazing, but a uh, great military man, great rabbi, great poet. But a Jewish army has not existed since the second century CE and the days of Bar Kokhva and his revolt against the Romans. And that lasted only two and a half years. Before then, it was not until you get back 2,000 years till the time of the Second Temple that we had a Jewish army. The Maccabees, the army of armies of, of the Herod, and, and before then, amazing. So here we've had 2,000 years with no Jewish army. Now we have a Jewish army. That's pretty amazing. I think that's actually miraculous. Think about it. Maharal, great Jewish philosopher of Prague 16th century, writes that the state of exile is unnatural. It's unnatural for a nation not to be in its own land. It's unnatural for a nation not to be together. And it's unnatural not to have the right of self-determination. He says, so because these states are unnatural, it's inevitable that the Jewish people will have to come back to the land of Israel, will be united together in the land of Israel, and will have the right of self-determination. Indeed, he says, that's the natural state of affairs. But when you look at the course of Jewish history, the persecutions, the exiles, uh, the expulsions, etc., etc., one can only say that the natural state is indeed supernatural. The fact that the Jewish people in our times have returned to the land of Israel successfully, the fact that there are Jews from literally every country in the world in the state of Israel, the fact that we have the right of self-determination defended by a Jewish army, which marches on its stomach and is indeed kosher, and uh, an army composed of Jews from all over the world, uh, that is absolutely incredible. And therefore, when I saw my son get his red beret as a member of the IDF paratroopers, when I saw that, Yes, I felt tremendous pride. Yes, I felt tremendous joy. Yes, I, I felt tremendous amazement at how incredible that is. But more than anything, I felt how miraculous it was that I was really seeing a miracle in front of my eyes. So I wasn't actually there. It was online. I didn't say the blessing, but I really feel that that blessing, blessed are you, our God, King of the universe, who has made for us miracles in this time and in this place, I think is a very appropriate blessing to make. Thank you for watching.